And so I know you're here. Okay. All righty. Hello, how are you? Hello, hello, hello. Let me get it up here. Oh, here we go. Hold on, where was it? There we go. Hey, everyone. Say hello as you come in. So I know you're here. I'm just going to get it up on my whoop, mini chat and make sure that you guys can get alerts. Hey, is it Maisha? Hey, Barbara, how are you? Okay, I don't know why that's showing that way. That's weird. Okay, so we are good to go there. Hey, Linda. Hey, Judy. How are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So today we're going to make, hey, Linda. Um, hey, Lynn. Hey, Dorothy. Um, a wreath using this sign from the Crazy Chicken Lady Wreaths and Signs. And um, I have her link posted up um in the description of this and also the link for the mesh holder because you guys know you got to get that okay so this is kind of a tealy it's a really pretty color so um let's get started hey bridget hey muriel thank you thank you thank you thank you for sharing so we're going to use this really pretty it's like a teal blue um 10 inch mesh and we're going to do poofs hey janet and then we may put um, some other stuff on top. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to gather it together. So what are you guys doing today? Anything fun? Hey, Jackie. I know, isn't it pretty, Janet? It's really pretty. And I think it's perfect for this um, sign. So like I said, I have the link to um, the sign up in the description. And it's from the Crazy Chicken Lady. So, thanks, Trisha. Yeah, I got the um, mesh from Craft Outlet. It's like a teal blue. Um, so, I think it's going to be pretty. I think it's going to be perfect for this sign. So, um, oh, yay, Muriel. Oh, you are, Janet? Awesome. I just sold one of those this morning. <laughs> yeah, just sold one of those this morning. So, hey, Shirley, how are you? Hey, Barbara, I know, isn't it pretty? It really is. And, you know, it's not, it's not a whole lot of things you can, you know, like signs and things like that that you find to match this mesh. I guess you can do like the peacock, you know, peacock sign, you know, wreaths or something. Hey, Dee. Hey, Reba. Oh, you're Bodabra. All right. Don't forget to um, like and follow my page, if you would, please. And if you don't already get alerts, type live in the comments. And, um, oh, yeah, they are very popular, Janet. Again, I'm just doing 10-inch poofs. And, oh, awesome. Yeah, I like those gingerbread ones. I think they're really cute. I love the ones with the plush. Oh, I can't get this one I'm doing. All right, come on. There we go. All right. Now, this mesh is a little thin, as you can see. So we're probably going to be doing that method where I go, hey, Norma, um, back over it again. So now that's the top row. So then we're going to bring it to the bottom row. And remember, you don't want to pull because it's going to pull that mesh over. So you just want to kind of very lightly attach it there. Thanks, Norma. And then we're going to do 10-inch poofs here. So for those of you that were on last night, you saw how I made this work wreath. Yes, Lisa, make sure when you get a um, response... When you get a message, you should, you have to respond back to that message in order to get the alerts. A lot of people don't do that step and then they don't get the alerts. 
I know, isn't it pretty? Hey, Dorothy. Oh, yeah. I know, I, I really like this color. It's really pretty. So, again, I'm just doing 10-inch mesh at um, 10-inch poofs. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Maria. So, how many of you guys watched the bow party last night? Are you guys almost, oops. Oh, let me get that out of the way. Hey, Tiffany, how are you? Yeah, it's really, it is a thin mesh. And as you guys can see, you can see right through it. So we're definitely going to have to um, do that method where you um, fill in a little bit because you don't want it to look really bare like that. Oh, no problem. Well, I'm glad you guys liked it. Hope you learned something. Yeah, I have fun doing the boat party, so I enjoy it. And I shipped off the bows today, so going to a good home. Hey, Mary Jane, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate it. Yep, and like I said, if you don't already like my page, if you would like and follow my page, I would appreciate it. Also have a YouTube um, channel, so go check that out. Thank you, Judy. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Much appreciated. From California. Woohoo! The poofs are 10 inches long. And we're using 10 inch mesh. So when you use the 10 inch mesh and you do the poofs, it doesn't fill it in, you know, as full as when you do the um, 21 inch mesh, but I only have this in the 10 inch, so we went with it because I really like the um, color. Um, Anna, if you look on my page, my Facebook page, <clears throat> excuse me, um, under the videos, all the videos that I've done are listed there. And you can just look there and um, find the video that you want to watch. And then um, if you share it, it'll save it to your page. Oh, welcome, Rosie, from Southern California. It'll share it, it'll save it to your page, and then you can go back and watch it as many times as you want. Although you can do that on my page, too. But All right, so you see how thin this base is. Whoop. Um, you know, it's pretty thin. So, whoops, stop. Okay, uh oh, okay. So now what we're gonna do to kind of fill this in somewhat is I'm going to take this, and I'm not, I don't really measure these at all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of go back and forth between the front row and the back row. So I'm going to go to the front row. And like I said, I don't really measure these at all. I just kind of am doing this to fill in my pipe cleaner stuck there. Hey, Lori, how are you? And and this just fills in this space a little more so it's not so see-through. And then I'm going to take it and go to the back. And like I said, these poofs, I don't really measure. This is just kind of something I do to fill in a little bit if the mesh is a little thin. And this is so. But we're going to be putting stuff on it, so you really won't notice that either. So I'm excited. Hey, Fern, how are you? I'm going to um, Lancaster with a friend tomorrow, and we're going to hit the at-home store. So, and I'm only, hey, Nola from Branson, Missouri. Welcome, welcome. So 
I'm going to limit myself. I'm going to set a budget. Oh, good, Fern. I'm glad you liked it. I had fun doing that last night. So, yeah, and if you can't find it, if you want to find that video, I know, me too, Lori. If you want to find the video and you can't find it, just um, shoot me a message, and I will find it for you and send it to you. Yes, this takes one roll of the mesh. And like I said, with this, if it's a little thin, because like I said, it's only 10 inch and it doesn't fill in as well, um, this kind of helps fill in the gap some. And I have to separate them out too, so. But it will use just about the whole roll, so. <clears throat> hey, Deborah, how are you? So I'm using my um, mesh holder from Susie's recent things if you guys do not have one of these you really need to get one because it's awesome i use it to cut my ribbons i use it to hold my mesh because you know when you throw your mesh on the floor you know it sticks on your clothes and it gets all over the place so i really like to use the mess holder when i do this it just really helps with the logistics of it and stuff um the frame is a 14 inch frame from the dollar tree and the mesh is a 10 inch mesh. And that's why I'm kind of doing this. And see how much, it, like, you can see the difference. This one, I don't know if you can tell. Um, this doesn't have the second layer over it, but um, this does. So it really kind of helps to fill it in some. And I'm just going, you know, from the front row to the bottom row. And it helps to fill it in a little bit. Hey, Kathy. I know. Isn't it pretty? Right? Wait till you see the sign that I have with it. For those of you who came in late, um, the sign's gorgeous. Okay, so this is the sign. Isn't that pretty? Look how well that matches. Um, nope. I use 10-inch loops. What I do is I do 10-inch poofs on the top row and then the third row and then if the mesh is a little thin like this mesh is all I do is I just come back in and I kind of hit it again going back and forth from front to back I do too Lori I really like the blue the blues are popular this year I think again hey Nancy and it just kind of helps to fill it in and then even if it's not filled in yet either when you do this which i think this is filled in pretty good um you can go through and do another one as well if you want to so i'm going to go ahead and cut that off yes oh yeah you can do it um yep the first time around i just do poofs in the top row and then i move to the bottom row and i do poofs to the bottom row and then if it's a thinner mesh and it's not really covering the frame, then I kind of go in and I do zigzags from the top to the bottom, the bottom to the top, and that kind of thing. And, I mean, I have plenty left that if I wanted to go back and do a second set of the zigzags, I could. Um, oh, no. <laughs> but that's kind of just what I do. It kind of, like I said, it helps to fill it in. And, if, like I said, if you wanted to go back and do another set of zigzags, you definitely have enough of the mesh left okay so then I'm going to set that back and I don't know the mesh holder just really helps so then I'm just going to kind of go and separate my poofs a little bit kind of help it hey Sandy how are you hey Kathy kind of let it fill out but this mesh is a little thin so that's why I kind of Go back and do that zigzagging a little bit. It helps to fill it in. Hey, Jennifer. Thank you. And it just helps a little bit. And by the time we get the other stuff on it, you won't notice that it's so thin. Oh, no, Rosie. Yeah, you just got to keep at it. You'll get it. You'll get it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, if you can see this sign, isn't it really pretty? It's got like the fake snow on it, too. So I found this tool at Michael's. I actually had some left over. And it kind of looks like, had like little dots of snow and it's in a random pattern. So what I thought I would try, and we'll see how this works, is to cut some of this and add it to the top. So let's just do 20 
inches and see how we go. The sign came from the crazy chicken lady custom wreaths and signs. I have her um, page on the top of my, on the description. So I thought I would add these in there. And again, it's a little something different. Oh, thanks, Donna. Hey, Patricia. I use the 18 ties. So what I do, okay, so I'm going to add that in there. Isn't that pretty? Just add a little something to it. So um, let me go ahead and cut the rest of these. Good thing I bought another roll. And I had um, used this roll for something else. So um, that's why that one ran out. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab another roll real quick just in case. And I'm glad I did. Oh, thanks, Reba. So yeah, I thought a little something different than just the deco mesh. So we'll see how this turns out. And I found this at Michael's. Finish cutting these. to concentrate when I'm counting because you know I will mess it up if I don't. One more for good measure just in case. Okay. All right. So I cut the tool to 20 inches and then I'm just going to take it and do the ruffle method. I kind of want to try to stay in the middle so you're um, thing doesn't go all wonky. Oh, well, you'll have to get one, Rosie. They're really great. I love mine. Love, love, love them. Is there a code for you under Amazon? For, I have an Amazon affiliate link. So, um, the Provo is on there, and I did post that link in my description for the Pro Bell. Um, is that what you're talking about, Diane? Let me know, because I can always um, pin it to the page here. Let me see. So here is for the mesh roller and the sign. Okay. And then, um, hey, Jackie. Speaking of the sign, that's Jackie. She made the sign. So if you guys are interested in any of her signs, go check out her page. I just put the link there and I will pin that comment so you guys can find it. Hey, Diane. Okay. Hey, Connie. Um, yeah, what I will do is um, I will list that again. Let me find that link. For the Provo. Here we go. Okay, and that one is for the Provo. And that is an affiliate link. I do get, you know, a couple pennies for that. Oh boy, cleaning out your craft room. Girl, once I get started doing that, I end up pulling everything out and I make a mess. So, oh, thank you, Bessie. I know, isn't it pretty? It's like a tealy blue color. So 
So yeah, and for the sign, hey Deborah, for the sign, she does custom signs also. So if you want a different color or something like that, she can, you know, pretty much do that too. So. Well, welcome, Deborah. I'm glad you found me. If you um, want alerts when I go live, just type live in the comments, and then you will get a message back from me. And you do have to respond to that message um, in order to get them. So make sure you do that. Oh, Diane, you have to get, all right, tool two, two tools I cannot live without. Um, my mesh holder and my Provo. Now, the mesh holder, she has a couple different versions, a bunch of different versions, actually. Um, this is tool I got from Michaels. I thought I would just try something a little different. Um, the mesh holder... I recommend the, um, it's, I have the deluxe collapsible one. What I love about that one is number one, it holds three rolls of 21 inch mesh. Um, and it'll hold six rolls of 10 inch mesh. It will hold a bunch of ribbon. Um, plus it folds down flat for storage. Not that I ever store it because I always use it, but, um, it's really great for that. So I just love that one. But you can always start out with the single one. That's what I did. And then go up. Hey, Kim. Hey, Sandy. How are you? Like I said, if you're asking for an alert, make sure you respond to that message. Because if you don't, you won't get the alerts. Hey, Joy. How are you today? And this is just um, tool that I found at Michael's. And um, so I thought I would just try this rather than some mesh and see how that. Oh, cool. Yeah, I like this tool. I think it's really pretty with the little dots and it kind of makes it look like snow a little bit. Hey, Donna from Tampa. How are you? You know, you're always trying to think of something different to do and that kind of stuff. So, if you guys could share this, I would appreciate it. Yeah, but definitely, if you're just starting out, the tool to tools I would recommend are the probe of the hand and the mesh holder. The mat is a 30, 24 by 36 mat. Um, it depends what I'm doing, Diane. I do use a glue gun most of the time, but if I'm doing like florals that I'm going to need a lot of glue, I will use a glue skillet. Now, it's not a glue skillet. I just bought a little skillet from Walmart and I use that and it works just fine. Thanks, Donna. Thank you. Thanks, Angela. Yeah, but there's a lot of tools. When you're first getting started, you do need a lot of different things. So, um, you know, like the mat and all that kind of stuff, you can get at Walmart or you can get at AC Moore or Joann's. And you just use a coupon for them, you know. Um, it's just a little skillet that has like a temperature thing on it, Angela, that you put, um, glue in and it's just easier to use that if you're doing a lot of picks, um, if you're doing, you know, a lot of things that you need a good amount of glue for because the glue gun just kind of makes it a little harder if, um, well, you know what? It's just a little oven skillet, really. I'll show you what it is. I have stuff piled on top of it, but I'll pull it out and show you. Um, it's just got, you know, like a different temperature thing. You want to be able to, you know, change the temperature, do the variable. 
And hey, Barb, how are you? So again, I did 10 inch mesh. I did 10 inch poofs. And then um, after I went around the top and the bottom, I just kind of did a little zigzag with the mesh to kind of fill in a little bit because it's a little thin. Um, this mesh I got at Craft Outlet. And let's see, what did I do with that? I think I have the thing in the trash can. I'll show you, I'll tell you what the number is, the skew is on it. So, oh, I know I do too. Yeah, well, you know, when you start making wreaths, um, Diane, you kind of get addicted and you have lots and lots of stuff. Oh, this is a this is just a tool. It's not beads. It's just like little glitter, like little glitter dots. And I got it at um, Michael's. It's just tool. Hey, Blanche, how are you? I think I cut either too many, or I was too busy yapping and didn't. Uh, I missed some. Okay, so that just kind of adds a little, little bit to it. Okay, and I cut too many. Let me show you that glue skillet. It's hidden back here, guys. My next project is over here. All right, so. So this is the skillet I use. It's just a little skillet from Walmart. You see, and you put your glue in, and then you just turn it on and heat it up, and it makes it so much easier to do, to use when you're doing a lot of um ouch, you're doing a lot of let me see oh here it is okay so the color of this mesh and i dropped it again um no the white is tool yeah it's a little tool um this mesh is item number r e one three zero one six zero. Let me hold it up there. See if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Okay. So that's the the mesh. I I forget what it was called. Yeah, it's just a little electric skillet. That's it. I know, Blanche. It's easy to do. It's easy to do. Okay, so. Now we have the mesh on and we have the little tool on there. Now we're going to add the streamers and this is where I need your guys help. So yeah, it would. I don't know how many of the teal and white owners though. Okay. So I found this Blanche AC more. I found this. I know Blanche. It's, it happens. It happens. We're bad. I found this ribbon. It's kind of a bluish teal kind of, so I, I think it'll go. And then I found this, isn't that pretty? It's got the, the blue and the silver and the teal. So what I was thinking, and I don't know if I'm loving this. I don't think I'm loving that. So that's gonna go away. The sign came from Jackie, or uh, the crazy chicken lady. All right, so then, all right, help me out. So, I was thinking of either using the silver or this teal on the other one. So, what I was going to do is match this with one of these. Oh, sure. The mesh I got from Craft Outlet. And the numbers are RE13. One three zero one six zero and that was from craft outlet this yeah i'm definitely you think the silver okay and then all right so let me cut that okay so that's going to go with that isn't that pretty now the other thing i was thinking was using this white but i'm not really loving it so that's going away so now with this either the silver or this kind of bluish tealish. I think the silver with that one. Okay, so 
Let's get these cut and then we will move on. Right. So now this is where my um, mesh roller comes in. A lot of people like to kind of, oh, you have this, that one too? Yeah. I know those signs are pretty. Um, so this is where I use my mesh holder also. I don't just use it for mesh. So I put my ribbon up here and I use this because I'm not coordinated enough to wrap it around that, you know, ribbon holder. I just can't do it. So I um, use this and look how easy it is. It makes it so nice to just pull it. Okay, so thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing. And then I'm just going to dovetail the ends. Yeah, last year I used, um, you know, my mesh holder and my mat to cut my, um, I know, I'm not that coordinated, Lori. That's why I like this, the mesh holder too. So I'm going to use that one, and then I'm going to use this silver one also. What size? I'm cutting these to about 13 inches. Okay. Yeah, because I can't hold the mesh, and I know, right? Costco has that silver. They do. Yeah, I got these both from Costco. And what I do is um, the mesh holder, You, I pinned it in the comments. You can get it from Susie's Recent Things. This one is the ultimate collapsible one. I love this one because it holds so much. Um, and it's just great. It just makes life so much easier. Like I was saying, the two, two, two tools I can't live without are my mesh holder and my um, Probo. I can't make Pro. All right, so I'm going to put this with this and then that with that. Okay. <clears throat> all righty. And then all I do is I take the two and a half and I put the one and a half on top line it up and then I fold it in half and then I just pinch it in the middle and then I put it in each of the pipe cleaners. Yeah, silver is really popping on this. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? The silver on there? Hey, Jeannie, welcome. Thank you for watching. I appreciate that. So then what I do is I just alternate the two sets of ribbons. So now we're going to take this set and do the same thing. Fold it in half. And scrunch it up. And put it in here. Oh, thanks, Blanche. It, like I said, if you want to receive live alerts when I go live, type live in the comments. And then you have to make sure that you respond to the message that you get. Thanks, Janet. Hey, Renee. How are you? How's Georgia today? So those are my two tails. I know. Isn't that pretty? I think so, too, Cindy. I like to do four different tails, like the two sets, and kind of um, break it up instead of doing like all of the same one. That's kind of just, I don't know, just started doing it and I really like it. So that's what I do. You can put, you know, the same two streamers or three streamers or four streamers in each one if you want. It's just kind of a preference for you how you want to do it. 
Oh, I know. Rain. We have had so much rain. In fact, it rained again this morning. So. And I love this ribbon, too. Isn't that pretty? Found that at AC Moore. So, Blanche, AC Moore. Did you see this at your AC Moore today? Hey, D, Welcome from Florida. The ribbon holders you see in the background. Um, back there. Oh, yeah. Um, the rack over there is just a shoe rack. I got that from Amazon. And then um, these other racks are just closet shelving that I put upside down. So Oh, you didn't see this? I found this the other day and I was in love with it. I know the AC more I like, you know, it's funny because what was it for spring? I didn't like their ribbon choices as much, but their Christmas stuff I really liked. Yes, it's a teal. Mm -hmm. Now this ribbon is a little more blue, but I still think it goes. I think it goes with the sign and everything. Hey, Kathy. How's it going? But these two I got from AC Moore and the other two came from Costco. Yes, it is teal. Yep. I know that darn autocorrect, right, Joyce? <laughs> Sometimes you're like, what in the world did it just say? Okay, so we're done around the bottom. Then we're going to start on the top. I usually do the tops first. I don't know why I did the bottom first, but oh well. I get distracted. I do not um, spray my wreaths at all. Um, I don't know that anything really helps, but that's just me. But no, I do not spray my wreaths. Oh, thanks, Luann. Oh, thanks, Roxanne. I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, I just love this ribbon. Huh. Love, 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 love. Thanks, Shirley. Okay. Yeah, I really like this. Really liking it. That's the problem I fall in love with all my Reese. But that's a good thing, right? I think. Hey, Shirley from South Carolina. Whereabouts in South Carolina are you located? Thanks for blessing me, Dee. How do you keep your... Um, well, you don't really keep the mesh from fraying. Um, the less you handle it, the less it's going to fray. There's different methods that you use, like the poof method. It really isn't going to fray because you're not cutting it. Um, but when you do do the other methods, you want to handle it as little as possible because it will fray. It's just the nature of the, you know, what it is. Thank you. Thanks, Dora. Oh, thanks. Is it, how do you pronounce your name? Is it Tia Shell or T Shell? I don't want to butcher your name. I'm sorry. It's a really pretty name, though. Oh, Okay. We go to Myrtle Beach every year, and I love it. In fact, I met Kathy down in Myrtle Beach this year when we went when we went down and we went shopping together. So if you guys are near Myrtle Beach next year, 
We'll have to get together. Thanks, Janet. Smithsonville. Is that, I'm not real familiar, where is that, is that near Myrtle Beach at all, Shirley? Tisha, oh, pretty name. Thanks, Suzanne. Um, it's not too bad. Debbie, it doesn't drop off too much. Um, but it will some, but it's not, it's not too awful. No, it's not like literally dropping like crazy. So, cause look, you can see it's really not, not popping off. Like some you get really, really. Oh yeah. That's, I mean, no, isn't this a pretty color? Oh, your husband has a job there. Awesome. Yeah. We go down in July. So, I love Myrtle Beach. Oh, really? Yeah, sometimes you just, it just depends on the ribbon. But yeah, this isn't too bad. This doesn't shed too much. Because sometimes some of the ribbon, like you said, um, you kind of get covered in it. Oh, Kathy. I want to go too. All right, so that's what the um, wreath looks like. Oh, I'm loving these colors. All right, so then we're going to get our sign ready. Now, I always use, these are just popsicle sticks. The mesh I got from um, Craft Outlet. Oh, four-hour drive. Whew. Yeah, that wouldn't be close enough, would it? Okay, so get my pipe cleaners here. Okay, so all right, uh, now do we put it in the middle? Like so. Oh, that's pretty. Hey, Rosemary. I think I'm going to put it in the middle. All right. So, let me get my staple gun out here. Get this ready to go. And the only reason I use this is so the staples don't go through the um, sign. Now the sign's probably thick enough, but I always do it just to be safe. Okay. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Rosemary. Yeah, I think so too, Blanche. Thanks, Shirley. Okay, I'm going to Oh, yeah, isn't it pretty? Bessie, I really like it, too. Shirley, just make sure you respond to that um, message you get. Otherwise, you won't be um, subscribed to my lives. Because sometimes people don't realize they have to um, they have to answer, you know, respond. Okay, so I'm going to go right there. Oh, thanks, Marty. No, the sign came from a friend of mine, um, Jackie, and it is listed where I got it from her site. Her page is called the Crazy Chicken Lady Wreaths, Custom Wreaths and Signs. So you can find it there. And she will... Um, Customize it to colors, you know, if you want, or the same color. I asked for it in teal because I thought it would be pretty. 
Rosemary, the ribbons, the silver ones I got from Costco, and the other two I got from AC Moore. Yeah, isn't it pretty? Okay, and then I'm just going to take this and feed that through. Um, Teresa, all you have to do is if you share this video, it will be on your page and then you can rewatch it, you know, as many times as you want. It'll be right on your page. So if you missed anything, you can always do that. Okay, so then what I do is, um, if I know I'm not going to put anything else in my pipe cleaners, I just take a dowel and I roll them up. Kind of make them a little decorative. Oh, did I miss something? Yeah, I used popsicle sticks to... Um, Attached to the back of the sign, if that's what you're asking. Oh, thanks, Melody. How are you today? Thank you, Rosemary. I appreciate that. Thanks, Joyce. So my next big hurdle on my page is reaching 10,000 followers. Oh, thanks, Blanche. Um, and I think I have like 9,200 and some. So I'm trying to get um, more, the 10,000 mark followers. And that's not likes, but I would like 10,000 likes. But um, So that's my next big hurdle. So you guys will have to share this video and help me get out there. Oh, thanks, Sue. Thanks, Tammy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. I know, you guys liking it? I'm really liking the colors. Something a little different than the red and the, the greens. I know, I should see if I have little oh, Christmas ornaments, but I know I don't have them right handy. Thank you, guys. <laughs> there you go, Bessie. Oh, there you go, Teresa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. So what do you guys think, huh? Oh, I know. I love it. You do your trees in all blues and silver? Did you see the sign first or ribbon? Um... I usually work off of either or. Now this one, um, I had seen, I had some other teal ribbon that I thought was actually going to go with this, but it didn't <laughs> because teals are funny colors. You know, you kind of have to find the right thing. So I had this sign first and then I know this is a little more blue, but I think it complements it. As long as it complements it, I think you're okay. Plus this had that exact teal in it. I mean, look, you can't get any closer than that. You can't even tell that that's on there. So, um, I kind of usually go from a sign and work out from there. It just depends. But that's what I normally do. I kind of get the idea from the sign or, um, oh, no problem, Kelly. And actually what I did too was yeah, Jackie's given a, away a free sign, um, oh, tonight. So, in fact, I sent, I cut some clippings from my ribbons. And I sent Jackie some samples of ribbons and said, okay, make me signs to match this. So we'll see what she comes up with. <laughs> oh, purple and silver. That sounds really pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of shades of teal because the one shade I had was this and that just doesn't I mean it goes but um, the silver kind of went better but 
Yeah, there's a, exactly, Luann, right? There's a blue teal, there's a green teal, there's shades of the teal, but I don't know. So this will be up in my um, Etsy shop shortly, and hopefully it'll sell. But love it. So like I said, get um, I listed her site there, um, Crazy Chicken Lady, and go like and follow her page. Um, she's going to give away a free sign tonight, so I think you can still get in on that. Internet connection. Oh, are we back? Sorry about that. I think it, uh, oh, I think I lost you guys. Are we on? Are we not on? Uh-oh, I think we're back. Okay. Nope. Okay. Let me see. Reload. Reload, reload, reload. Sorry, I lost you guys for a little bit there. I don't know what happened, but I don't know. Okay. Well, thanks. I know it was weird. All of a sudden it got, it froze. So, um, yep. Check out Jackie's page and, um, she's going to pick the winner for a free sign. So go like and follow her page. And I um, will be, I'll probably do a live from um, the at-home store tomorrow. Please, I keep getting interrupted. Sorry, guys. Um, so I will do that. And then probably be back on on Monday. If not before, but you guys know. All right. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I know I froze. It was froze and then it, it came back on. So hopefully, um, hopefully it's okay. If you have any questions, just um, send me a message and I will try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thanks for watching. Her page is the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Wreaths and Signs. Let me, I will um, pull it back up and put it on for you again. So that way you guys have it. Okay, so that's for... Um, Wait a minute. There it is for the sign. It's the crazy chicken lady. So go check out her page and um, like and follow. Like I said, she's going to give away a free sign. So check that out. And she does custom signs. So check her out for that. And have a great weekend. And I will see you guys tomorrow, hopefully from at home sometime. All right. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.